When from the Maracaibo jungle of Venezuela, these four gaunt and desperate figures emerged, the last remnants of a 20-strong expedition of Europeans who set off up the Rio Catatumbo three years before. All the rest had died, victims of fever or of the poisoned arrows of the Motoloni Indians. But one of them, geologist Dr. Francis de Lois, still had with him one extraordinary picture which was to divide the zoological world for 50 years. Could it really be an unknown ape? Yes, said Georges Montandon, France's most eminent zoologist. And he christened it Amer Anthropoides Loisi, Loisi's ape, though no ape had ever been known in America. But his deadly rival across the channel, Sir Arthur Keith, fellow of the Royal Society, denounced the whole thing as a fraud or a nonsense. With academic scorn, he quoted Deloyce's own account in the Illustrated London News, telling of two creatures which had attacked Deloyce's party by the unorthodox means of defecating into their hands and throwing their droppings at the foe. The creature was merely a South American spider monkey, said Sir Arthur, with the tail either cut off or hidden. Dr. Montandon was not to be intimidated. He got his cousin, who worked for Standard Oil in Tulsa, Oklahoma, to send him a standard petrol tin packing case, as seen in the original photograph. Upon this, Montandon placed first a standard spider monkey, and then a standard Frenchman. Comparison seemed to make Loyce's ape well over four feet tall. For Montandon, it was convincing proof. Since that day, no further evidence of a great ape has emerged from South America to vindicate Dr. Montandon or destroy theories of a hoax. But the question remains, why should a Swiss geologist, not much interested in zoology, his companions dying or being murdered all around him, be bothered to fake a picture? For that reason, if for no other, Loyce's ape remains a mystery.